Hey everyone, this is Scott here again with a new video to help you learn how to trade, invest, and master your finances so you can apply that knowledge in the real world and multiply your money. And in today's video, we'll be taking a deep dive into option delta, which is the most important Greek to understand when it comes to options trading. And that's because misunderstanding what delta is and not knowing how to properly use it can be both very dangerous and costly, especially if you are selling naked options like I do. And if this stuff sounds interesting to you, then please do me a favor and hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. Now, if this is the first time you are hearing of Delta or the Greeks when it comes to options, I do have a separate video explaining exactly what they are on a high level, and I'll post a card linking to that video above here. And so I do recommend you watch that video first if you have little to no familiarity with Delta or the Greeks. And so as always before diving in here, if you are interested in taking a deep dive into options, options trading and stock market investing, please check out my courses on Skillshare. I've been teaching on that platform for over a year at this point. In case you aren't aware, Skillshare is a lot like YouTube, except the content on that platform is geared solely towards the purpose of education in the form of online classes. And in my courses, you will see a lot of the detailed research and analysis that I have done using real stock market data, spreadsheets, graphs, and even computer programs that I have written to help simulate and prove the concepts that I am teaching. And I've dropped some links to some of the more introductory courses of mine in the description of this video below. Now you will need a premium membership with the Skillshare platform if you wanna watch my courses, but if you do sign up with that kind of membership using the links provided in the description of this video, you will get an absolutely free two week trial. And during that time, you can watch all my courses on Skillshare for free. And if you decide it's not for you, no worries, you can cancel before your trial has ended and you won't lose a dime. But again, if you are interested, please check out those links and join the thousands of other students that have already taken my classes. All right, so now diving in here and just giving you a brief refresher first about Delta. If you recall, Delta is simply a number that is derived from the Black-Scholes option pricing model, and it simply tells you for any given option contract, either a call or a put, how much exactly the price of that option contract will change for a $1 move in the price of the stock. And so I think that's a pretty straightforward concept, but the key thing to understand here is that this number Delta can and will change over the course of the expiration cycle of that contract, depending on where the stock is actually moving. And if you are not careful, and especially also if you are selling options like myself, then based on where the stock is moving, this change in Delta can be both very drastic and also cause your losses to explode. And that's because another way to view Delta is simply the current number of shares of stock that you are dealing with at the moment. And what I mean by this is yes, options are typically tied to 100 shares of stock and come the expiration date, if that option is in the money, then yes, you will be trading 100 shares of that stock per contract. But along the way to the expiration date, throughout that expiration cycle, the price of that option might behave as though it's tied to a lesser number of shares. The prices of options will never fluctuate as if they were tied to more than 100 shares per contract but they could definitely fluctuate as if they were tied to only 10 shares, or 25, or 50, 75, so on and so forth. For example, if you had an options position where let's say the delta was only 10, meaning you are theoretically only dealing with 10 shares of stock at the moment, and let's say the stock was trading at 30 bucks per share, then as of right now, the total notional value of that position is only $300, right? 10 times 30 is 300. And if your total account value was let's say $10,000, then 300 bucks in notional value for one position is only 3%. That's very small, very manageable, and you can deal with that very easily. But now let's say that position starts to move against you and the delta goes from 10 to 50. So now you are dealing with theoretically 50 shares of stock. And let's say also when that happened, the price of that stock went from 30 to 40. So now the total notional value of that position has gone from 300 to 2,000, right? 50 shares of stock times 40 bucks per share is two grand. And out of a $10,000 trading account, $2,000 in notional value for one position is now 20%, not three. And that's just one position, right? What if you have 20 other positions and some of them also start to move against you? So now the total notional value of all those positions combined could be many multiples of your entire account value. And this is exactly where your risk can get out of control because now you have positions that are way too big and your losses as a result could be catastrophic. And so now we're gonna hop over to my trading platform here and I'll give you some concrete examples. All right, welcome to my trading platform here. What you're seeing right now is a one-year price action chart of the company Twitter. 
And so just to give you a concrete example of how the risk of an options position is going to change, and therefore also how the losses or profits could accelerate as a result, let's say for the sake of this example, I am currently bearish on Twitter. You can see it's had a pretty nice run up over the past few weeks. And as a result, it might start to come back down. So what I can do is go over to the trade tab here, and this will bring up the option chain for Twitter. And let's take a look at the March expiration options here. These options expire in 40 days from today. And so since, as I've said in this video, I'm an option seller, the way I would get bearish on Twitter here would be to sell an out of the money naked call option. So for example, I might wanna sell this option right here with a 75 strike. And selling this option here will give me plenty of room to the upside in case I'm wrong. And Twitter does continue to rally higher because you can see right now Twitter is trading for about 56 or $57. And so it would have to increase by almost another 20 just to test the strike of my option here. And looking at the bid and ask spread here, you could see that I would be able to sell this option for probably around $120 or so. And most importantly for this video here, if you look at this column right here, this is the delta for this particular call option. You can see it's 0.17 or 17, right? These numbers are quoted on a per share basis. And because options are actually tied to 100 shares of the stock, although they may not behave as if they are all the time, you do have to multiply these numbers by 100. So like I said, the delta here is 17, which of course means for the time being at least, this option is going to behave as though it was only tied to 17 shares of stock. And thinking about this conceptually, it should make sense because delta of course will tell you how much the price of this option will change for a $1 move in the price of Twitter. So as of right now, if Twitter increases or decreases by $1, the price of this option is going to either increase or decrease by $17. And then viewing delta as the theoretical number of shares that this contract is tied to, if 17 shares of stock increased or decreased by $1, that's going to be an overall net change of $17, right? So I could sell this option or buy 17 shares of Twitter stock right now. And if Twitter moves by $1, then both of these positions here are going to change in price by the same amount, $17. And so what you'll find here is that the closer in the money that you go with these option contracts, and then of course, once you are in the money, the further in the money that you go, the greater the delta is going to be for all these options. And this applies to the call options here, as well as the put options. And so what this means is if I am wrong in my assumption on Twitter, if Twitter actually starts to rally and go higher and higher and higher, this delta here is going to start to increase. So for example, if Twitter actually increased by let's say $5, it goes from 57 to right around 62. Then the delta of this option might go to something like 24, which is the delta of the 70 strike call. And so now I'm no longer theoretically dealing with only 17 shares of stock. I would now be dealing with about 24. So the notional value of my position has now increased and as a result, these swings in the profit or loss of this position on any given trading day are also going to increase and accelerate, right? A $1 move for 24 shares of stock is going to have a greater effect than a $1 move for only 17 shares of stock. And so if Twitter does keep increasing in price more and more and more, my losses on this position are going to continue to accelerate, right? And just as a side note here, when I sell this contract, I want the price to actually decrease. If I can sell it for about 120 and buy it back when it's maybe around 60 bucks, then I make the difference as profit. But if the opposite happens, if the price of this option continues to increase and explode, then I'm gonna to have to buy it back for a much higher price than where I sold it for, and that's gonna be a net loss. And now, especially if your option goes in the money, right? If Twitter just explodes and goes past 75, then at that point, this delta here is going to be beyond 50. And it's at that point where the losses can really start to get nasty. Because like I said, the further in the money you go, the higher the delta is going to be until it gets to one or 100. And once you get to this point, now the contract is behaving just like 100 shares of stock, which of course is the true actual amount that these contracts are always tied to. But now the price of these contracts are going to fluctuate based on how 100 shares of Twitter actually fluctuates. So now in this case, for every $1 move in Twitter, just a $1 move could be a loss of $100. So you can imagine, of course, if Twitter moved $5 
and instead of selling one contract, maybe you sold 10 of them, that could be a loss of $5,000. So this is why keeping your deltas in alignment, keeping your deltas under control, so to speak, is so absolutely crucial in options trading, most importantly, if you are actually selling them. Of course, delta is still relevant and very useful when you are buying options as well, but at least with buying options, you do have defined risk. You can only ever lose at most what you pay for to buy the option. So you do have that built-in safety. But if you are selling options, you have undefined risk. So there is no way of knowing upfront how much money you could lose if the position really starts to move against you. And that's why in those scenarios, most importantly, it's absolutely crucial to keep your deltas under control. And I will of course make future videos explaining exactly how you can control your deltas when they do start to get a little bit out of control. But just to give you a sneak peek here, one way you can do that is by selling another option. Specifically in this case, selling a put option. Because now let's say Twitter continues moving higher and the delta of this option goes from 17, something very small and manageable, and it goes to something like 46, like for the 60 strike call option here. And so at this point, what I can do is maybe also sell this 48 strike put option, which has a delta of 20. And what this will do is it will cancel out 20 of the deltas on my call side. So in reality, instead of this position having a delta of 46, it will now only have a delta of 26, right? 46 minus 20 is 26. And this is generally how I keep my deltas in alignment and under control. And like I said, more videos on that to come. But hopefully this video here gave you some in-depth insight into a better way to understand what delta is, specifically in that delta is your risk. All right, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you are interested in taking a deep dive into options, options trading, and stock market investing, please check out my Skillshare courses. Links in the description of this video. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure those notifications are turned on. I'll be dropping new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you don't want to miss out. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.